Hello beautiful and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time seeing me, my actual name is Honor, people call me Oz, and I make Eurovision related videos here on YouTube and some music on the side. Now we have come to that time of the Eurovision season where we can actually share our top 10s, top 15s, top 37s and all that. I'm going to be doing a top 10 this season. I think I am a little bit late because most of my fellow content creators have already shared their tastes and their rankings, but that was the plan, to be the last one. <laughs> because I personally was a bit confused about who is going to be in what placement, because it's a really competitive year, there's a lot of thoughts surrounding different entries, and there's a lot of political statements going on, and this year on its own is a very unique year, because first of all, we don't have a certain projected winner, whereas last year, Karia and Laureen pretty much was were in everyone's split screen. This year, I don't know. But I have taken into account um, a lot of values. Um, most of these values are coming from um, the genres of the songs, the potential stagings that we might get, but most of all, the performances that we have seen at the pre-parties. Now, some of these songs have not been actually seen live, but the momentum that they have created have helped me to shape things up. Now, this is my top 10 for Eurovision Song Contest 2024. Are you ready? Good. But before we do that, please make sure that you have subscribed to my channel and like this video for more exciting content. Bear in mind that I will be doing press duties in Malmo on site for all of you joined by some of your most favorite content creators. We will be interviewing the acts, we will be attending pre-parties and live streaming and streaming a lot of incredible contents from the press center. So please make sure that you have subscribed to my channel and also like my videos. For those who would like to see more exclusive content, please make sure that you go to my channel and become a member and you will see everything that non-members cannot see. On my 10th place, I have Shalom, Israel. Now, I do know that when it comes to Israel, there is an avalanche of opinions that so many of you defend. I have made my situation explicitly clear when it comes to Israel and I have two videos about it. I'm not going to repeat myself, but you can refer yourself to my reaction for Israel and then the video before it about whether to react or not. So you can actually see where I'm coming from. But Eden is, I think to me, is the strongest vocal uh, of the season. Uh, strongest, not only strongest female vocal, but maybe it's the strongest vocal altogether. Like... Um, and she sings amazingly. I do love the song. I think the song is really good. I, when it comes to staging, Israel is a master. So I think we won't just be surprised by her voice, but the staging I think is going to help Israel secure a place within the top 10. On my ninth place, I have Norway. <laughs> Norway this year has been one of my most favorite entries in the beginning. I know that I was a little bit lost as to um, her vocals and all that, but at the pre-parties, y'all, she is singing for her life. And her stance, her personality, her divinity, I think is unseen. And in that sense, Norway definitely within top 10. On the 8th place, we have got our host country, Sweden! Now, Marcus and Martinus, you know, they have been around for a while, we all love them. I think um, them representing the hosting country on its own is a plus, but the song itself is definitely a both um, televote and jury preference. And definitely Sweden is back within the top 10, which again is a very Swedish thing. On the seventh place, we have got Euro Papa Netherlands. Oh, 
Used has been a fan favorite and I think he represents kind of like what we love about Eurovision and I think in that sense his staging combined with the catchiness of the song makes him the Verka of the season which again means that welcome to top 10 Netherlands. On the sixth place we have a country that is not unfamiliar with being a favorite and I'm talking about the beautiful Ukraine. <laughs> Ukraine this year was announced quite early in the game. I think Aliona Aliona and Jerry Hill, they both are incredible together. They represent this cohesive, um, unmatched chemistry. And the song, I stream it on a daily basis. Um, every single time I hear Teresa and Maria, I feel like I'm praying. It's spiritual, it's divine, it's epic. And definitely, well-deserved within the top 10. On the fifth place, can I see my ravers with me? I've got Austria. This song is Eurovision. Whether you think it's cringy or too much pop or too much femme fatale, too much girl power, y'all, that's Eurovision to you. Good morning. And I think this will serve us well. Colleen is also a familiar face to Eurovision, so she has got all the plus points that will come from the juries. And she is a fan favorite. She sings well, she dances well, she is gorgeous. And the song itself is actually incredibly catchy. And like it's 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 one of the Eurovision anthems that we're getting this year, meaning that this song will not be forgotten. It will be a Eurovision anthem that will be played all over again in the coming years. So top 10. Oh my God, it's top four now. Okay, our next winner securing its place for me um, in number four is Belgium. This song is hot. It's incredible. It's a grower. It is musically completely unmatched. And I think, I know that Musti had several complications uh, when it comes to his sound in London pre-party, but um, it was exclusively because of that. He is a live singer. He is theatrically trained, he knows how to deal with his voice and with his body. He is a live vocalist, so I am sure with all the settings in Malmo, he will be incredible and secure his place within the top five. Top three. All right, it's getting real. Now, I think this will be the top three and let's go back to this video once we're done and see how accurate I've been. On the third place, I have Agapimo. Agapolamo Tikanis. Greece! This song is everything and probably one of the most talked and um, thought of song. Is that grammatically correct what I just said? Like it's it's one of the most popular songs that we have gotten within this Eurovision season. Uh, we still haven't seen Mari Marina singing this song live, which kind of like brings question marks to my mind. But I think as a classically trained vocalist, she is incredible in her craft and she will be in the third place, if not the winner. Like this could be also possible. On the second place, I have Italy. <laughs> I cannot stress enough in terms of how much I love this song. It's incredible. And Angelina is one of the best things that has happened to Eurovision. So we have to protect her at all costs. Did you think that I was going to give you just one country for the first, the winner? Because I am very confused because there are two countries that I feel like we will see in the split screen. So instead of giving you a winner, I am going to give you a split screen on the split screen, meaning that the first and the runner-up, we will have Croatia competing with Switzerland. No going back. Whoa, my precious face of black. Now, if you ask me what would be my personal preference, I would go for Croatia, but Switzerland is in the game 
to win. But all of you, thank you so much for tuning in and sharing these moments with me. I would love to hear back from you in terms of what you think about my top 10. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? If you disagree with me, that is completely fine. It's a part of the game. Please keep your manners with you and let me know what you think in the comment section below. I love you all and I'll see you very soon. Mwah! Wait, wait, please, please, please don't go just yet because I have got the best news for you. This year, specifically this year, the end of your vision in May will not actually be the end of whole your vision because you have got your Viscon to look forward to. We will be celebrating ABBA's 50th year anniversary of winning Eurovision in where it all started in Brighton, coming together through Eurovision. What is Eurovision, you might ask? And I'm also wearing the merch. It's an incredible celebration spread out to two days between the 20th and the 21st of September, bringing what we love about Eurovision with acts, live concerts, workshops, karaoke, drag performers and more. Parting until AM hours and this comes through different packages so please 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 check Eurovision.com. Make sure that you also apply the promo code which is for a limited time so all you have to do is to use the promo code EURO24 to get your handsome 25% off from all ticket packages and we just cannot wait to see you there. Eurovision will be the celebration that you're looking for so let's come together and celebrate your vision as often as we can. I love you. Mwah.